Sí, sí, nos vamos. Vale. Pero sí, ojalá, ojalá a lo largo de este mes eh, recaudemos la suficiente gente. ¿Juegas en PC? Sí, como puedes ver en el cursor, ahí está. La chanda más cerca. Yo, obviamente, la primera vez que jugué el Red Dead fue de salida y lo jugué en la Play eh, 4. Pero ya cuando, cuando pasó el tiempo y tal, me lo compré. En un principio, no lo hice por la campaña, sino porque me salieron proyectos de... No voy a dar opiniones que todavía no hayan pasado en la campaña porque todo esto luego se resume. La... Que yo recuerde jugar a ella la PlayStation 2. My old house. The house my grandfather built. Si cuenta toquetear pensando que jugaba, supongo que una Nintendo de esa. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos. A watch. Old pistol. My ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Steads. North of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near. Va a sonar raro, pero me parece raro que no hayas dicho una Xbox. Porque allí se llevaba más el rollito de Xbox. Time. Time is hell. Of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. <laughs> Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Sí, esto sí. Uh. 
I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county. It's good night. And the state a whole lot of income. The oh, boys vale. wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. So I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. La empezamos Now, ayer. I'm sure de hecho. I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaite's. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. <laughs> Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yeah. I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa. Whoa. Hold up. You see that wagon? Nunca me he parado a pensar en hacer ese tipo de cosas, la verdad. Siempre me ha dado bastante pereza. Yo juego por disfrutar. Los cuerpos no dicen que sea hace poco, ¿eh? Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay, we should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up.
Um. No, 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 no. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. They're right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. Sí. He had a few stories. Desde hace años, de hecho. Preacher and town sheriff. The drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites. Thank you. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we talk to... Eh, jugué, jugué en su momento. O sea, no juego activamente, pero jugué en su momento bastante con amigos. Sí, sí. What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? No, juegos de móviles no, ninguno. We'll take the ride. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Yo juraría que he dicho de ir por la izquierda, pero vale. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out. Then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. Get the rider, go round him up later. Get the other one. I'll deal with this one. You get the other side. All right. Sí, pero los estilo Battle Royale no son lo mío. Que va, que va, que va. Demasiado lejos. No he cruzado el continente. Pero me gustaría. Oh, me dieron dinamita.
Bueno, los que queríamos vivos ya están ahí, con lo cual. Como me gusta la escopeta. Epa. ¡Ey! ¿No te explota? ¿No? Pero eso sí. Eh, ¿para dónde vas? Hola, ¿estás tú? ¿Murió? Sí. ¿Cuál es el juego que menos me ha gustado, te refieres? No entendí mucho por cómo... Eh, sé, sé más específico porque a lo largo de mi historia en YouTube habré jugado más de 500 juegos perfectamente. En plan... Well done. <risa> well, Entré. Forgive me, but me and my man must return to our lives. Ah. Cientos. Cientos. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, Wyatt. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. Es que jugó de mierda, eh, o sea, literalmente. Finally. Finally. Come on, move. We have a life on a land so stupid, a backwater, so backwards that even we. Are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes. Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? 